Greetings uh, once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's uh, Celine Driver again. Uh, got another unboxing for you. And no, it's not a Zelos today. There will be more, but not today. Uh, this is uh, a watch from one of my other uh, favorite watchmakers. Um, it is a Seiko. Um, this watch today is a, a Monday, and uh, this watch actually arrived on a Sunday. Uh, Sunday delivery by United States Postal Service. Just when I thought they were beyond any level of redemption or competence, they go and do something unexpected like that and make me rethink. But uh, then again, the old saying of even a broken watch is right twice a day. You, know, you draw your own conclusions. Um, the reason I, I wasn't intending to buy uh, another uh, watch um, until after all my Zelos watches uh, showed up. Uh, but I saw a video from Mark over at Long Island Watch. And no, I have no affiliation with Mark at Long Island Watch. Uh, or Island Watch for that matter. Um, I'm not receiving this from him as a freebie or a review and send back. This is my watch, my money, my risk, my purchase. Just like every other watch I've ever reviewed on my channel. They're all mine. Some of them I may have sold, but they all started out as mine, and I received no compensation from anybody. Okay. Uh, I saw the video he made about uh, a set of three watches of similar design, and I just absolutely loved one of them. I liked them all, but I loved this one, so I decided that this one was going to be mine. I ordered it, and it showed up. Lovely Seiko blue box. And opening it reveals, ta-da, a Seiko bottle cap. That's its nickname, not its official name. Uh, its official designation is SRPC63K1. And yes, I've already opened it, uh, and I've already sized it, as you can see. And I've already removed the tags and the plastics, as you can see, because unlike some people I, I, I uh, subscribe to on my uh, YouTube, uh, I have no patience <laughs> when it comes to these watches. Uh, I can't let them sit there for a week or a month until I get to review them. I've got to open them up. Uh, and yes, I detagged it and I cut the string. I know, I know. I'm a horrible person for cutting the string and I should save the string and save the full kit, including all the strings and everything and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've, I've, I've dealt with that comment more times than I care to remember. So, um, yes, I cut the string. I'm a horrible person, sue me. Um, but the watch is gorgeous. So let me just put this box back together because after finishing this video, I won't need it anymore. I'll put it away. Oops. Anyway, SRPC63K1, the bottle cap. Named because if you turn it on its side and look at the bezel and its orientation to the case, it really does look like, from the shape and the way it's lined up with the uh, case and everything, it looks like a bottle cap. It really does. And it is absolutely a stunner of a watch it really is i love the blue bezel nice solid clicky bezel i believe it's a 120 cl click bezel um and it you know obviously being a entry level priced watch it does have a little play in the bezel i mean you know it, it, it's a seiko it's not a rolex it's not a uh paddock it's not a piaget uh, it's not a Ulysses Nardine. It's, you know, it's a Seiko. It's made to be affordable. And when you're affordable, you don't do certain things like make the bezels extra tight. Okay. Anyway, SRPC 63K1. This designation is the blue bezel on the silver stainless steel case 
with a bluish black watch face. There are two others in this family. You can look them up if you want. There's the SRPC 61, which is an all silver watch with a black face, silver bezel, silver case. And there's the, also the SRPC 65, which is actually a very good looking one in its own right. It is a PVD black watch, black um, bracelet, if memory serves me correctly. And, uh, black bezel, all PVD, and the face is green in the middle, and then it fades to black as you move out towards the indices, and it's really a very interesting looking face, but I'm not the greatest fan of green watches. I, th I don't own a green watch currently. I think I've owned two or three of my lifetime recently, and I've sold them all because not a big fan of green on watches. It's my third favorite color, but not on a watch. Anyway, just love that bezel. And and another interesting feature about this watch. Look at the look at the short um, fall of the lug. It's a very small lug to begin with. It's barely half, maybe a little more than half the width of a, of a typical link. As you can see right here, the, where my thumb ends is, is the size of a link. And it's really not much bigger than a link. And it drops away rather sharply. I forgot what the measurement uh, was tip to tip. And I can't really find my um, my calipers right now. I don't know what happened to it. I think my kid borrowed them. Um, but uh, even though this is a rather good size diameter watch, uh, it wears very, uh, very small. For its size, and I'll show you a wrist shot in a minute. Uh, you know, applied indices, day and date on the um, on the three o'clock. It is a hackable movement, as you can see. I pulled it out, and uh, two clicks, and the movement stops. So it is hand wind, automatic, and hackable. Not a screw down crown, however. Uh, I love the, the contrast of the blue bezel and especially like the orange sweep second hand. I, I love that. You know, I mean, all of you who are uh, in the U.S. understand my, my link to my fascination for orange and blue uh, for my Florida Gators. Um, for those of you who are overseas and don't understand American college football and the passion for it, I went to the University of Florida many years ago. I've been a fan of the Florida Gators sports teams, especially the football team, since 1975. Uh, anything orange and blue uh, gets me going. Enough of that. Um, all you uh, non-Florida Gator uh, fans, and I'm sure there are many of you, uh, go ahead and start the flame in the, in the comments. I can take it. Anyway, uh, have my normal handwritten specs here. Uh, as I said, this is the SRPC 63 K1, uh, nicknamed the Bottle Cap, and I think that nickname is apt. Uh, it is a 4R36 movement. As I said, it is windable and hackable. So set it and let it run. Uh, Hardlex crystal, uh, front and back. It is an exhibition case back. You can see the movement in there 24 joule movement as usual it is a hundred meter water resistance uh and remember i did say a non-screw down crown so uh go swimming with it maybe a little light snorkeling if you wish uh, that's not a recommendation that's just you know what i think it could handle uh, i wouldn't uh throw this thing into a deep scuba dive it might go boom uh 44 millimeter in diameter so it's a good size watch and 13 millimeter thick but uh well i'll get to that in a minute uh standard seiko uh bracelet double lock with the fold over clasp with the push buttons uh stamp steel nothing terribly special uh four po four position micro adjustment um I removed three links for my wrist and uh, it was most comfortable for me to put the micro adjuster at its furthest point out 
So it's just three links and no problems. Uh, it is a simple pin uh, removal. Uh, just tap them out with the proper uh, tool. Uh, no pins and collars, thank God. Um, whoever, I know there are people out there that, that uh, swear by the pins and collars method. I think the person who invented the pins and collars bracelet should spend an eternity in hell, but that's me. You know, I'm not subtle about that. It is um, uh, drilled, end, uh, drilled end link, uh, drilled lugs, I should say. So changing this thing out for, say, a NATO, which I don't particularly like NATOs myself, but many do, uh, or a leather strap or a silicon strap should be fairly straightforward with ease of access to the um, spring bars. Uh, it does wear very comfortably on my wrist. Uh, I wear mine up high, as uh, you know by now if you watch my videos. And you can see, if I can get you know the angle just right, you can see that with the very short lugs, even though this is a 44, and I can handle a 44 millimeter. I have several watches in 44 millimeter, but you know, it, with, with the sharp drop and the shortness of the lugs, even someone with a smaller wrist, like Mark, for example, at Long Island, he has a six and three quarter inch wrist, which is a bit smaller than me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, this wears very nicely on his wrist. At least it looked that way in the video. Uh, I even think Tristano from uh, Urban Gentry could probably wear this watch. It might be a little difficult for his wrist, but I think he could probably get away with it. Not look too terribly weird, but... Uh, on me, it fits beautifully. I was wearing this all, all morning, uh, running uh, various errands and such that I was doing. I was wearing this watch today, and it, uh, it's very comfortable. It's not the lightest watch I own, but nor is it the heaviest. Just uh, a very nice uh, daily wear kind of watch. Um, nothing overly crazy about it. It just, you know, it really looked nice to me and it was a really nice blue. Seiko really does very nice blues. And I just wanted to pick it up. And it had $199 from Long Island Watch. Uh, it was a good deal. Uh, I didn't find it any cheaper anywhere else, really. Uh, it was a great price and it was here in a couple of days and uh, was well packed and uh, great service from uh, LIW. Very happy. Uh, I believe he is selling the silver one for $189. Uh, when I looked on the webpage just before I started this video, it was sold out. Uh, hopefully, he'll get more in. And the PVD was $219, and he still had this one and the other one in stock when I checked a few minutes ago uh, before I started the video. So there is stock if you want one. Um, I, uh, I will give it a Celine Driver recommend. I'm very happy with the watch. So uh, on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, probably not going to be another video this week owing to the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday of all holidays. Uh, family, food, football. There's nothing better. Uh, oh, and uh, not pro football. We've given up on the uh, National Felons League Um I haven't watched a game from that league for now. This is my fourth year. I'm done with the National Felons League or the No Fun League or whatever you want to call it uh, for various reasons. Um, I won't go into those. I, I made another video on, on my channel. You can go find that video uh, about why I'm done with that league. But uh, plenty of college football for the weekend. So very happy about that. And, of course, I'm going to celebrate with my family and... Um, when more watches show up, I'll make more videos, but not this week. So, uh, if you like this video, thumbs up, please. Um, if you want to make uh, comments about anything I have to say or questions or anything like that, down there, please. Uh, if you are uh, so inclined, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I uh, appreciate all my subscribers. I think I'm now over 250 subscribers now, which uh, is uh, a very good, uh, in my mind, a great achievement for just a little uh, channel uh, by a pure enthusiast, uh, pure hobbyist. Um, I thank all my subs for joining up. I hope I uh, continue to make you entertained. 
And don't forget to click the bell icon so when I post more videos, you will uh, be informed. So have a good Thanksgiving holiday, and I will see you in the next video.